come here once again and today probably we're talking about the cubic blazer like i promised so we'll go through the cubic blazer the website so we're going to our website today so basically we'll be touching some of the things there and using our website so let's get right into it and if you're joining us for the first time or coming across my youtube for the first time kindly subscribe to the subscribe to my channel to get more videos and check out my videos which i've made already and you can really flow the tutorial from the beginning last this tutorial on animation from the beginning that is the playlist to be new to the playlist will be in my comment section you can check it out and also join us in this adventure so let's go so guys this is the quick breezer website that is quickbreezer.com and it was created by Lee Vero just beside it here you can see by Lee Vero and you can also donate to them and you can read about them here so what happened is this is a timing function for sales animation especially made for sales animation like like a framework for the timing function so what happened is you can right click on the curve this curve to move it anywhere this is the progression the vertical side of the progression and this is the this is the the time the timing function for it so what happened is i can adjust this like this so i can move it to the way i want then after this i can check the preview here you can see that and you can change the duration here so you can set the duration to be as slow as possible to check the curve and everything so this is what you should do to like you're comparing it to this this is this is red this pink one is what you did here and this green one is what this ones that is you're comparing it with these ones this is our normal timing function that is linear is in and out and isn't is in and out rather and is in and is out so you're comparing it with this so this is looking like um, this yeah so when we, when we try it again you can see you can see they're moving at the same pace but something is different so what i'll do now is i will try to create a bouncing ball with this so i already have a set of projects already so what i'll do is i'll just set my timing to uh, a bouncing ball so i can easily set it myself so you can use your keypad to move it upward and downward so i, I have this and uh can I, I can have this yes then for this guy right here i can have okay then after you must have said it, you can check it out here and compare with this so most of the most of the project you will see or most of the project i'll be doing i'll be using this could be bridger timing function so after getting the exact function you need the ones you need so you can just go over here and copy it you can copy it this way this way or this way so i'll prefer this first one so i'm gonna copy that so that has a copy then i'll take it back to my project then then you can see i pasted it here already so this is it when the timing function this time this timing function here is gonna have the, the so this function actually is for a bouncing ball when I open on the website now, you can, you're gonna see what I have is a bouncing ball. So you can see that. So that is what the timing for that does. And if I come across my channel for the first time, this is me, this is views, and this is what I do. This is web development tutorial, and you're welcome. And you can help yourself by subscribing to my channel to get more videos and notified when I drop new videos. And you can go ahead and watch my videos, other tutorials I've dropped there, and you can preview to DM any question or ask any question in the comment section and i'll reply them to you i hope you see in the next class where i'll be going into um something different entirely so there's a new package coming your way just get set for it and no sleep on it so you can follow my facebook at code with views and instagram at must result and twitter at code with views and i will i'm free to message me there and i'll reply to you thank you